Good morning and welcome back to White Mountains Today here on White Mountain TV 16. Joining us in the studio, our very crowded studio, we have Maureen Hanlon, Terry O'Brien, and Nancy Clark. And we are going to talk about the Funktastic Food Drive. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, we have the, uh, hopefully you've seen, had a chance, I'm just going to hold this up briefly, a uh, chance to check out the Funktastic Food Drive posters that have been going up around town. And who gets to explain what the Funktastic Food Drive is all about? That would be well, Nancy. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll start. Yeah, I'll start. Um, so my team at Drive does every year. They do a little something. You know, we do uh, angels and elves, or we'll we'll do we'll do food drives. Um, but this year, my team. I tell you, I love my team. I wasn't even in the building, and they got together, and they decided they wanted to do something much bigger, much better. And um, one of the guys in our office knows Moon Boot Lover, the band, and reached out to them. And then we started to look and said, let's do a fundraiser with a band and a cover, and all the proceeds go to a local charity and again I wasn't even in the room so they got together and they said oh the parka and then they said oh Bartlett Jackson food pantry and they pulled this whole event together and I just that's where it came from it's just the desire of our team to just give back and support the community and we knew we'd have a partner in Terry a really good in fact <laughs> they took it like to the whole next level and Terry can talk about what she's doing which is above and beyond most of the um, dining dine to donates in the valley so that's where it started though uh, that's where it started. My now amazing I, team. I, I should back up because I didn't uh, really do so Nancy Clark drive brand studio in North Conway, Terry O'Brien from the Red Parker Pub in Glen, and Maureen Hanlon is here representing the Bartlett Jackson Food Pantry. So kind of get all the intros out of the way. So turning a Christmas party into more than just, um, you know, copying things on the uh, copier and stuff like that, you've taken it to the next level. So Terry, oh, talk about what's big. going on at uh, the Red Parker that night. Well, we were very excited. We're always excited to get a Christmas party booked in anyway, <laughs> and then to have one that's going so much further was great. So we're going to entertain the staff from Drive Brand with dinner, and then everything will move down to the pub from 7 to 10 with this great band. And uh, we're going to be donating for the evening 15% of all of our food sales to the food pantry. That's awesome. That's awesome. So it's that's going to happen. And then Maureen, let's talk about the food pantry. And obviously, this is a, a time of year where there's a lot of need. Uh, yes, it is. Um, the food pantry's been around for a long, long time. It started uh, many years ago as, as a, as a um, project of the um, uh, Glen Community Church. And uh, so church members had started it years ago. And over the years, it's become more of a community venture. Um, it is open on Saturdays from 10 to 12. It's, it, it's right across from the Red Parker Pub in the Glen Community Church down in the basement. Um, so Saturdays 10 to 12, we have, if there's an emergency, uh, people can call uh, Brenda Medeiros at the Bartlett Town Hall, and that would be 356-2950. Um, and so, th yes, this time of the year um, is a time when people might be not quite started with their seasonal employment, um, it's heating season. Um, that, that kind of thing. So it, it's definitely um, a time of definitely, need. Yeah, definitely yeah. need for it. Yeah. So, so what fun. So wh how to, what is the admission for? Okay. Uh, so there's a $10 cover charge. 100% of that goes to the food pantry, the Bartlett Jackson Food so Pantry. So it's a donation. It's a so donation. donation. It's not a cover. Okay. It's a donation. Because <laughs> you know right. we don't do cover charges. No, right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that's that. that. That's right. Sorry. So it's a $10 donation at the door. But if you bring a non-perishable food item, then it's $5 at the door and the, with your food item. And we're going to have, which I don't even know if I told you, but we're going to have the recycle mobile parked outside where we'll be putting all the food pantry donations in there so that we can store them until they're ready to move over to the Bartlett Jackson Food Pantry. But that's how it's going to work. And then the 15% of all the food sales that night. And we'll also have, um, we've been working with Brittany on Terry's um, team, where we'll have a, um, some donation jars around too, because right. cash donations, right Maureen, are yes. very important. Very important to help us to um, manage the food you know we don't want things to expire so it's really good for us to have some cash on hand I, and for the lean times you know we can get out and shop and get get things absolutely yeah. now is there a certain amount if somebody is going to do the five dollars and bring food do you want a certain amount of food that they're going to bring or 
Or type uh, of food. Type maybe. of food. Oh, types of yeah. food. Um, things that are very uh, popular with us are canned meats, tuna fish, uh, deviled ham. People like spam, that kind of thing. Um, people in like uh, the jarred spaghetti sauce, um, pastas. We we get quite a bit of pasta. Um, but you know, any kind of peanut butter, that kind of stuff is great. Yeah. 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 So uh, the more, also, the merrier. Yes, and also, um, you know, people need things like paper towels, toilet paper, soap. Toothpaste, toothbrushes, those kind of things, are, and pet food. We need pet food too. So. Well, that's interesting because a lot of people don't think of that when they yeah. think of a food pantry yep. uh, providing that. But yep. yeah, we yep. do all need those, yeah. those items yeah. also. Yeah, right. And it it is important when you have to spread your dollar. You know, to have some of those things. Like, let's say you do get maybe food stamps or something. You might not have enough money for those other kinds of household right. items. So. So let's talk about uh, Moon Boot Lover. And uh, what kind of music they are? They is this their first time in the Mount Washington Valley? I believe it is. I they, think so. yeah, I think so. And you know, I think that's an important note is that this is a really, really good cause. But every event at the park is a fun event. Every event. <laughs> Rob, <laughs> Rob and I have been going to the park for the ones we can since remember. We moved yeah. up. No, stop. <laughs> so, but they're a high energy, great. Like that's why we went with the fantastic theme. They're just a really high end. Um, Band and we're so we're really excited about the fun factor of this event too. Is that it's a great cause, so that's a reason to come out is to feel good, but then let your hair down, get a little funky, have some fun. And it's right? early enough, so us old folks can stay out. <laughs> <laughs> you can come from seven to eight, right? There you go. So uh, so seven to ten p.m. on December twenty-first, which happens to be. The winter solstice, so it's the longest oh. night of the year. Oh, good grief! So uh, we should I go till midnight. I know. <laughs> I'm kidding. Two a.m. Terry. Two a.m. Right. Um, and uh, not that we'll it won't be a full moon to go in with the moon boot. I'm trying to tie the two Thank together. There. So, <laughs> but that's so that makes it a fun night because that's really the start of winter. It's the first day of winter, uh, longest night of the year. What a great way to start it off with the uh, funktastic food drive. And I'm not sure we said the date. It's I, I just oh, said did it. Okay, December, Thursday, Thursday. Thursday, December 21st. So you so don't it's even a have Thursday. To, so it doesn't interfere right. with your weekend plans. Right. It, right. It's your Thursday night. Start your weekend early. With Absolutely. The, uh, funktastic food drive. But you do have to get up and go to work. That's where I told my team <laughs> they have to get up and be at work <laughs> the next day. Well, you'd be like Terry. Then they don't. You know, they don't open until 3:30. So you yeah, not happening. Not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. And uh, if people want to get some more information, what's the best way to do that? Hmm, what do you think? Well, we have the posters, posters, and, posters yeah. and Hans has been uh, putting the poster up here, so you can definitely check that out. And there's an event on Facebook. Yes, that's right. In it's, fact, this just, is, that was funny. Terry and I think so much alike, our team and her team. Both of our teams set up a Facebook event within 30 seconds of one another. So Laura on my team said, wait a minute, there's one there already. <laughs> and it, <laughs> so there are two Facebook events that say the exact same thing. So you can definitely find Facebook. out about and that. You can, so. yeah, truly, you could call us at Drive because our Christmas team, Laura, Jen, Carter, any of the guys can give you answers. So that's 356-3030. And we're there Monday through Friday. After that, you can call Terry. That's right, right. at 383-4344. And that's awesome. And uh, and if anybody wants to make it, you know, for some reason they can't come that night, um, they've got something else going on. I'm sure that the uh, the Bartlett Jackson Food Pantry would welcome any donations, any uh, food items to be brought. Certainly, certainly. We are, as, as I said, we're there every Saturday, 10 to 12, um, or you could drop something off with Brenda. At, there's always a box out at Town Hall in, uh, in Bartlett. Yeah. Um, so people could do that as well. Yeah. You can also drop off at the school, right? The Bartlett School. I think Mary. Um, I, yes, takes yes. Donations. We do actually. Yeah. Thank you. We do have, I believe, and I don't know a ton about this, but I think there's something at the Bartlett School. The church, both churches, yeah. um, Jackson Community Church, always brings us stuff. They, I think they've got a box out all the time there too. Well, that's great. I think yeah. it's interesting yeah. that this is an area that people don't think that there are all these people that may be in need because. People who come from Bartlett, Jackson, Glen, are very proud, and they they need this, but they don't want to own up to it sometimes. But the need is there, right. mm -hmm. so this is where we can all help out. Yeah. That's great. So great cause. It'll be a rocking good night there at the Red Park and Pub, right. 
and uh, basically what the park is so well known for. So, well, thanks so much for coming down today, Maureen, Terry, Nancy, Thank and uh, it sounds like a great event. And definitely check it out. We'll show the poster one more time, and we'll see you soon. And we'll be back here in a minute on White Mountains today. <laughs>